What's up, man? It's me, Warren. Here again with another video, man. I'm coming to talk to y'all today about something I read on my blog about a buddy going through no contact. And he broke no contact. And he was wondering what can he do, you know, to save his relationship, you know, where he go from there. So, in, that vid in this video, I'm going to be talking about that situation. So, once you break, no contact. I mean, there's a major slip up. I mean, that's why the name of it is no contact. So, what you want to do now, after you know broke no contact, is to start all over again. I mean, just start all back over. Cut off all contact. Once again, just go ghost totally drop off the radar for I mean some people say for 30 days uh, two months you drop off the radar for good because after you get dumped you know what I'm saying you don't want to be doing the little waiting game I mean that's how pretty much it what it is if you put it at 30 days then you call the person no that's a little waiting game you don't want to do that at all what you want to do is move on you know what i'm saying by moving on and bettering yourself the people that leave you will always come back you know what i'm saying because you got to keep your mind set is there's abundance of people out there there's more people out there there are more whatever you're looking for out there there's a whole world of people you can get into and stuff like that I know it hurt because you probably still in love with the person and you still have positive memories about the person and you have a flashbacks. So what you want to do is when you have a flashback, write down everything that the person did negative to you. Negative, not positive. You don't want to think about the positive. You know what I'm saying? The more you think about the positive, the more you're going to want that person and you want that person to come back into your life. You probably feel that that person made you happy or whatever. Your happiness come from the inside of you. So that person really didn't make you happy. It's just that the feeling them people was giving you made you happy, not the person. You know, anything can replace that person. You know, for happiness, you can get a video game and that can do the same as that person that dumped you. So what you want to do right now, this second, Cut off all contact. Imagine that person dead to you. You know, imagine, I hate to say this, just imagine they passed away. They did to the world to you. Then once you accomplish that, and then your next step, what you want to do is contact me <laughs> and I'll give you the rest of the steps, but I'm just giving you the snippets in this video. So what you want to do is um, always elevate yourself, you know, and stuff like that. There's other things, there's much more things you can possibly do. But starting with these strategies, one, imagine that the person that you did no, doing no contact with is dead. Just, just imagine they passed on, have absolutely no contact with them whatsoever, no birthdays, no holidays, no graduations, no nothing. They dump you, so you move on and stuff like that. And the more you chase these people, the more they run away from you. Women are like cats. You never seen a cat chase anyone. The more, I mean, the when you, you know, try to act like you don't want the cat and like, oh, I hate cats. Cats always go to the person, the nonchalant person, you know. So what you want to do is play nonchalant, move on with your life, cut off all contact, but keep a source of contact where well, your ex can get in contact with you, but cut off all contact, she dead to you, do nothing. That's what you do. Your main thing, what you do is nothing, ain't nothing you can do. So with that being said, like and subscribe to my page. If you need any kind of help, please contact me, email, or leave a comment. And I'll get back to you. Keep in mind, I'm going through this thing with you guys. Man. I'm there with you. So with that being said, 
pray and watch out for one another. Thank you.